I'm done building go bags. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Now, let me admit, this system may not work for everybody. Shoot, if I'm honest, I may look back a year from now and decide this doesn't work for me either. But it's just another experiment trying to move forward and find things that work better than the solutions I'm currently using. Over the years, I have built a whole host of go bags and go boxes, many of which have been featured on this channel, but I've been looking for the perfect go box. Now, the first one I built was somewhere around 2015 or 2016, and that go box had just about anything in it that you needed. HF radios, two meter radios, antenna tuners, whatever you needed, it was pretty much in that box. The problem with that kit is it weighed in at almost 40 pounds. And well, if I'm honest, I would almost avoid going out and playing radio because I didn't want to lug that thing down the stairs and load it into the vehicle only to have to unload it when I came back out. It was a monster and it was just a pain in the butt to move around. Then you add the battery box to it, which was uh, old SLA battery technology. I think that was a 30, 35 amp hour battery, somewhere around in there. And that thing weighed in at almost 40 pounds. So when you combine the two of them together, I had nearly an 80 pound load. It was just absolutely ridiculous. So, a couple of years later, I started looking at that and trying to figure out how I was going to improve it. And I built my first backpack style go bag. And that worked out really well. I did several improvements as I put that bag together and shaved a lot of weight off of it. I eliminated some components. I added lithium iron phosphate to the mix. I purchased lightweight solar panels like the Power Films and ended up getting that bag down uh, to about 25 pounds when it was fully packed. But then I wanted to continue to lighten that load, or at least attempt to, in an effort to find the absolute perfect go bag. So fast forward a bit and I started building a QRP bag after I got uh, my first QRP radio. And I think I did that video here on the channel as well. And that was a pretty awesome little setup using the Yezu 817. And I think when I was done with that, I had that pack down roughly about half of what the other backpack weighed in at. And I believe if I remember right, that bag weighed in at around 11 or 12 pounds. So I was definitely moving in the right direction. Again, uh, that bag would not suit every setup though, so I started putting together an HF travel kit, which I just uh, did a video on here a few weeks back. But here's the rub. Each trip is different. Those small travel packs won't work for an outing like field day, and a bag that I would take to support field day, I just can't travel with very easy. There is no perfect go bag. Add to that the fact that gear is expensive and often we don't have multiples of the same piece of equipment. So if you put a bag together and you put that uh, item that you only have one of in that go bag, well then you're going to wind up robbing it out of that go bag to put it in another kit because you didn't need the go bag that you built on this outing that you're doing today. Now we've got another problem. We get ready, we grab the go bag that we thought was together, but we've pulled equipment out of it. And well, you see where this is heading. We've got quite the mess on our hands and it's probably going to be a ruined day of radio. Now there is one particular go bag that I have put together. I've modded it a few times over the years, but that bag is still with me and still carried on an everyday basis. And that's my two meter everyday carry kit. I love that little kit and that one definitely stays with me, stays together and stays packed all the time. But these other bags I've come to realize, well, 
it's impossible to build the perfect go bag or go box because there's so many different variables for each trip that we are planning. So I have started making adjustments to the way I do things and I'm pretty much done with go bags. A couple of weeks back, I brought you guys a video telling you that I was going to be reducing the Raspberry Pis in my arsenal uh, before I had had one Raspberry Pi for each particular radio. Now I've got that down to only one Pi that can handle all of the various radios in the shack. I've also shown you guys how you can use FL Rig with multiple radios, making it quick and easy to change between the two. So I'm moving toward a more modular system, and there's one critical component to the system. We'll get back to that in a minute. For the Raspberry Pis, what I've done, though, is I have created these little bags and just put a piece of painter's tape on the front of it and labeled each of them. But I do have one of these bags for each radio that I have. So this is a partial bag. This one's for the 705 that's sitting in the shack running at this particular moment. Here's another one that's for the 857. I've got others for the 891 and the 817 and so forth and so on. And that's just one little piece of moving to a modular setup. So what's the first thing I'm going to do before I head out for a day of radio? Well, I'm going to decide which radio will best fit that day's outings. Is that going to be QRP? Is that going to be QRO? Will I be running digital? If so, I'm gonna to have to grab the Raspberry Pi and the correct bag for that particular radio. Am I going to need a battery for this particular outing. Uh, if I need a battery, do I need a solar panel? You know, maybe we can get away if it's just a two hour uh, POTA activation, maybe we can just run the battery built into the 705. But if we're going out for fill day, that battery is never going to cut it. And once I've decided on the gear that I'm going to be carrying out for the day, then I'm going to pick the bag that best houses all of that gear. Now, I mentioned a minute ago that there is one critical component to moving to this modular system, and that is a checklist. I've been working on my checklist for the last couple of years, and I'm going to leave a link to it down in the description below if you're interested in downloading that list and having a look at it. But the checklist is what's going to keep us from getting into the field and realizing that we're missing a key component to our setup. Now, in my case, I built a master checklist that should cover just about any outing that I'm going to go on. And then I can pick and choose what I need for that particular trip. If I'm going on a short outing, then maybe I don't need additional batteries and solar panels, so I will skip that power section altogether. Now, you may think that this slows me down getting out the door for a particular trip but I have worked extremely hard to organize my gear in a way that makes it quick and easy to grab what I need, put it in a bag, and get out the door. The checklist assures me that I'm not forgetting anything. Now, by no means is this a perfect system. It may or may not work for you. Guys, this is just what I'm looking at going forward because of all the attempts I've made, I have yet to build the perfect go bag that would suit every outing. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.